Well, it's really hot again. And we're just now approaching that weekend that originally was predicted to be hitting something like 93 by Monday. But I've checked weather this morning and apparently now they say it could go up to 101. So that is going to be a real test, especially for people with greenhouses because they're going to need constant attention in that extreme heat. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We've got a couple more of those 10 litre second early Charlottes. And the plants are about done. So what we'll do today is we'll empty both of these and see what we get between them. And we'll also see if there's any consistency in the weight of potatoes that we get from these pots. The average being about 1.7. But once again, with these 10 litre pots, there seems to be a bit of pressure around the base of these. And this one, although you probably can't see that, it started going oval on the top, so something's pushing it outwards. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what that is. Hopefully, some big potatoes. So we'll do them one at a time. I'll just go and grab Barra, and then we can see exactly what we're getting close up. So we'll start off, I think, with this oval shaped one. I'll just cut all this foliage at the top first. Now you should be able to see that it's gone, an oval shape. Let's find out why. I think that might have something to do with it. For a start, that looks pretty good. Let's break this up. All this bottom just roots. pretty good to me. Well, I can see why that pot was pushing outwards. We'll get some of these put in a tree. Still some small ones. But I think we're going to have a few salads coming up with this weather, so it's all good. And we've got a couple of nice sized ones as well. And again, they're all very nice clean potatoes, no splitting. And that's it for this pot. So let's weigh these. Just 
just set my scales to zero. Link in the description if you want any of these. It's fun to weigh your container vegetables. So, one pounds, we're on zero. Let's see what we got. One point seven nine, strangely enough. There you go. One point seven nine. It looks like we're starting to see an average of what we're getting out of 10 litre pots. The previous 10 litre, 1.72 or something like that. This one, 1.79. Let's do that other one. There we go. And again, we can see potatoes. So let's get straight in. Again, looking really good. Get rid of that minging seed potato. This pot is a lot wetter than the other one was. So maybe the drainage wasn't quite right. I think it's going to be close to the other one again. This wasn't as good a quality compost as the previous one. It was a mixture of garden soil and compost. So it's slightly heavier. And that's probably why it's retaining its moisture for longer. I think, again, that's it. So now we'll weigh these. So, back on, set to zero. Let's have a look. One point six six. There you go. One point six six pounds. So that's the third ten litre pot that we've harvested. We Charlotte second earlies in, and we're seeing a consistency in what we're getting from those pots between one point seven and one point eight pounds per pot, and a mixture of sizes. We've got some quite decent sized ones and then we've got some small but perfectly edible salad potatoes as well. So it's a nice little mixture. So between those two pots we've got a nice amount of big ones and an equal amount of small ones. So I think overall those 10 litre pots have been quite a success considering they take up hardly any compost and hardly any space and they're quite low maintenance apart from this weekend just in case you missed that part at the beginning Tuesday prediction 101 
Fahrenheit. So that's going to be bad news for greenhouses. So make sure your windows are open, your doors are open, and you really deep water everything the night before and monitor it through the day if possible because those sort of temperatures are definitely plant killers if you don't stay on top of it. So another successful potato reveal. We have got a couple left but we're saving those for a little bit later on. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you want to see what else we do over the next few months then please just hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and I'll see you next time. You all have a nice weekend. Thank you.